it's Stacy with As A Tea Brews. Today I thought I'd film something just a little bit different. Um, we are getting ready to go on a big trip across country and I'm really hoping to find a few tea shops along the way. I do know of a couple that I want to stop at um, but I haven't been able to locate some in the other cities along our route that we're going. So hopefully I'm able to just come across some but I am planning on doing some as a tea brews traveling teacup videos when I can find those. But I'm also um, hoping to share some maybe teas I drink in a day on the road. Um, so to kind of kick that off, I wanted to show you what I'm planning to take with us on our trip. I'm not bringing very much because honestly, our space in our motorhome is very, very limited. Um, and like I said, I'm hoping to pick up maybe a few teas along the route somewhere. Um, and it is going to be summer, so it's going to be really hot. And I tend not to drink as much tea in the summer just because it's hot. Um, I'm going to show you what teas I'm bringing. It's not in stone yet. We don't leave for about three more days, um, but I've limited it down just to a couple teas and also my equipment that I'm bringing. Okay, this is our tiny little kitchen area. There is really not much space here. Um, this we board we put up when we are not cooking on here because it gives me more counter space. So when we pull over to fix some lunch, it's just easy to put stuff out there and fix it. So um, this usually comes down while we're driving, but I did buy some putty to try putting under it to see if it would stay in place. Um, but I'm not sure if that's going to stay there or not. Um, but right underneath it is where I keep all of our coffee and tea supplies and mugs. And so this top drawer just has a small Keurig and I have a French press, a little grinder to grind our own beans if we want to do the French press. And I have a, a kettle to heat the water and it does, it's um, digital, but it will heat up um, to whatever temperature I ask it to. And it works really quickly. Um, and what I like about this one compared to the Breville that I have inside or do I have Cuisinart or Breville? <laughs> the one I have inside is that this one is um, cool to the touch on the outside. And since we don't have very much space here um, and we don't have granite or anything like it's just nice to have something that's cool to the touch instead of something that gets really hot. And then here we have all of our travel mugs that we drink our coffee in. We drink milk in. Um, well, I, you know, I don't really drink that much milk, but the kids do. Um, and so they're not very big, but we got them the size because they're the, they fit inside this little or underneath the little Keurig here. Um, but I've got a few stickers on mine and we all have our own in our own colors. And then right in here, I have my tea mug and this is the only infuser that I bring. This is a mug from... T2, I believe, and I got it when we were traveling one time. Yep, it's from T2. And I really like this basket. The basket takes up almost the entire size of the mug. So the tea leaves have lots of space to float around in there. This is this bright tropical orange with the different birds of paradise in there. It's really fun. There is a lid, but I have it inside one of these little sleeves here because it can easily rattle around and get broken when we're driving. So I have it right there. And I do have down in there, let's see, some more of these sleeves for cans, for sodas and stuff. And then I have a David's Tea Perfect Spoon and a spoon to stir our French press. So this is kind of our coffee and tea supplies. Now, not everything quite fits in here. In the bottom drawer, along with some dish towels and dish rags um, and uh, the little like hot mitts and stuff, I have the base to my tea kettle to heat it up. And we do have to be plugged in or run the generator to use it. And then here I have some teas, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then we have four more mugs. So I have my mug with the tea, the tea filter in the top drawer. And so we have four more mugs here because sometimes we don't want to use the travel mugs. We just want to use a regular mug. And so we have one for each person. And this is just a little measuring cup. Um, and so in this basket right here, I can pull this out and these are the teas that I have. And this is, I just brought this in today. 
I had a really hard time deciding. This one may not come with us. I may change that out. I'm not sure. This is such a pretty tin. I love this tin. It's like pink and white and gold and it's got the leaves and the flowers. And this was in here since last year and so nothing in here was put in recently. But these are just some various tea bags. Actually, maybe I'll go in and change out the tea bags I have in here. Um, but I just have a few... Mostly, I think, caffeine-free tea bags, some Trader Joe's well-rested herbal tea. My husband really likes that one for evenings. Um, and there's a few David's tea, tea bags. Let's see, Sleigh Ride, Candy Cane Crush. Those are, that's a black tea. And then I have some orange and spice tea from Bigelow. There's another Candy Cane Crush. And then I have a couple Yogi teas in here. Echinacea Immune Support. I don't think I could fit too much more in here. And then I have a couple of these ginger turmeric teas from Trader Joe's. And so sometimes it's just too much to deal with loose tea when we're traveling and a tea bag is really nice. Um, so I'll probably still keep this in. I may throw in a couple more bags in there. But this is the stuff that I had to really narrow down what I thought I'd be most likely to drink during the summer while we're traveling. Um, so... First, I have two measuring spoons in here. Um, I have a matcha spoon and I have a teaspoon from Tivana. But I actually, I'm gonna pull out this other David's Tea Perfect Spoon and add to that basket. I'll keep the French press spoon in there. So I've got the three the three spoons that will be in this basket. And then I think you could all probably guess if you've watched my videos, you probably probably can guess that Lay Digestive would be included. And this is the small tin. I do have a mega tin of this inside the house, but this one I just actually still had from before and I just refilled it from my mega tin. I am going to be needing to restock on this tea pretty soon because I don't have a whole lot left. So that is the first tea that I'm bringing in addition to the tea bags. And then the next tea that I'm going to bring, I thought, okay, well, I want some caffeine-free and caffeinated um, teas. I, I do get a lot of my caffeine from coffee, but I also like caffeinated teas sometimes. But I couldn't actually, I only picked one caffeinated one. Um, I'll show you that next, but I'll show you my caffeine free first since I have the lay digestive out. And then this is one of my new favorites. And I just poured some from my big apothecary jar into this tin. It's like a little travel tin that I got on Amazon. I got a set of like 12 of them and they were pretty cheap. Um, but this is queen of the South from magic hour. And this tea is so delicious. It's cinnamony and cocoa and it kind of tastes like coffee, but there's no coffee in it. Um, it's just all um, herbal and it is absolutely delicious. So I could drink this one any time of the day. Um, I just love it. And I don't even know if that's going to be enough, but I don't want to bring the giant apothecary jar. It might break and it just takes up a lot of space. So that's going to have to do. <laughs> um, so, and then the other caffeine free tea I brought is this bag of child's pose from magic hour also and this is a really really lovely herbal tea this one has organic tulsi organic roses organic peppermint organic lavender natural vanilla flavor and tangerine essential oil and i just thought um, between these three i kind of have a lot of different flavors covered and i figure i will i should be pretty happy with this um to drink while we're traveling. Okay. And so then I have two teas with some caffeine. The only one that I have that I will steep is this tea from Old Barrel Tea Company. This is green chili bizcochito. And this is so delicious. I absolutely love this tea. This is a green sencha and it has um, green chili in it. Let me see. Sencha, green tea, cinnamon, anise, cacao shells, hatch, New Mexico, green chili powder, this writing is really small, sorry, chamomile and natural flavors. And I absolutely love this tea. I actually don't drink this one plain though. I always drink it with some Mexican vanilla bean honey. And this is kind of one of those teas, like if I have lunch or a meal and I want something a little bit on the sweet side because I do add just a little bit honey and something 
I don't know. It's just delicious. I just love this in the afternoon. So um, that's going to be kind of my go-to in the afternoon. And then the other one that I brought is a raspberry matcha from Adagio. And I don't have a whole lot of this one left, but I want to use this one up. I almost just brought a plain matcha instead, but I decided to bring this one. And this I'll actually be mixing with some vanilla protein powder and blending it and putting it over ice. And I, I should have brought that in, but I have a, like a little hand whisk from Ikea battery operated that I like to use. And I just mix this with water and almond milk and my pro vanilla protein powder and put it on ice. And I can just drink that um, usually kind of for breakfast or a late breakfast. And I really enjoy that a lot. So those are the teas that I've narrowed down to bring. But like I said, I really hope to pick some up while I'm traveling, maybe a nice puer or something like that. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Are these teas that you would bring? What teas would you narrow down um, to bring? So like I said, it's gonna be summer and hot, so that kind of affects the type of teas that I'll be drinking. Um, but I do have a little bit of space in here and I do have, I have several empty of these tins and I kind of thought between now and the time we leave, I may end up adding something else. Um, but I think I'm okay for now, but leave me in the comments, leave me a note and tell me what teas would you narrow down from your collection? What would you bring? Um, would you bring like a variety? Would you bring more? Do you drink a lot of hot tea in the summer? Um, I thought about bringing stuff for iced tea, but I just don't drink a lot of iced tea. I'd rather probably just drink water, maybe iced matcha. Um, so yeah, and then that's more equipment to bring for iced tea. And so I just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with that, um, this trip, but um oh I have one of the whisks right here I did br I did bring it out I just forgot but this is the little whisk from Ikea and I just um put it into my mug and it mixes everything up so it's really nice I have this right here because I also use that for my greens powder that I drink in the morning so um also NT related if you're interested in um knowing more about our travels um this is kind of our our little family map when we bought our camper um, two years ago, we knew over the next few years we wanted to do some road trips, um, not as much like lake camping, stuff like that, but road trips. And so um, we want to try and get as many states marked off as we can as the kids age, um, as the kids get a little bit older. And my oldest is actually going to be 18 next year. So this is the last summer with him not being 18. Hopefully we can still talk him into going places with us. And I think he will. But um, yeah, so I haven't been to a whole lot of states. The kids haven't, obviously. And um, so we're excited about going to lots of places. But if you're more interested, if you're interested in hearing more about where we're going, what cities, what we're doing, I think I may be doing some kind of vlogs as we go. I'm going to have a lot of time on the road to, you know, either film or edit videos. So I think that would be kind of fun. <laughs> um, but let me know if you're interested in watching those. And also I'll include any tea shops or, you know, um, that we go to and stuff like that. So anyway, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.